Hello! Welcome to the Thursday edition of Color the Kitty and Stampin' Up and All. It's me, Lauren. I'm just here. I realized I didn't pull up my ink yet. Because I keep the ink off to the side because they're little tiny ink spots. And I'm like, oh wait, I need my ink tonight. Yeah. Hey, everyone. All right. We got a good show tonight. I am doing a combo video of Stampin' Up and Color the Kitty. Uh, Color the Kitty will be will be doing a, the third project from the Sweet Sunflowers kit because I did the first one last week. I still need to do the second, the third, and then talk a little bit about this upcoming Saturday and show you some coloring stuff I have recently completed. Now, hopefully the power grid stays decent tonight because uh, we've got combination of tornado and storm watch warnings here, so this will be interesting. Hey Dan, thanks for watching. All right, so let's get started. My events list here. Uh, celebration is still on until the end of this month, which is August 31st. Celebration being in Canada, spend 60, get a free item, spend 120, get a free items, item or items, depending on how you configure your shopping cart. It's a really good promotion, happens only twice a year. It's almost over and I highly encourage it. it. It's it's a great promotion where just simply spend sixty dollars, get a free item, select one. There's some really great offerings this time, as always. Uh, this Saturday, twenty seventh, is our the community around here, somewhere around here, is having a garage sale. I decided to jump on the opportunity to have a arts and crafts booth. It'll be if you're looking for the address, please please let me know. I will give you the directions and all. So what I'm doing is a color the kitty booth. I will have a make and take project for two dollars only where pay two dollars and you can make your own project you can take home with you. I have I, I did up another demo partial demo tonight of what the project is because I've got some different picked this up, a couple different ink pads so I have an abundance of availability for people dropping by. I, I changed the color that I originally had, which I still like what I had, but this is still good too. So I just want to do up one to see, make sure my plan still looks great for the weekend, which it does. So I'm excited. I'm also going to have for sale um, little crafty goodie bags. We'll have some various little bits of coloring supplies. I, I have yet to bag them. <laughs> That might be my project later tonight. I will see. Uh, I will have a bunch of Color the Kitty coloring sheets available. I have one here to show you in a little while that I've made up. And finally finished coloring today. And I'll also be having um, some products for sale. It will be some paper pads that I have from the past. So if anyone is local, welcome to drop by. It'll be the Saturday, uh, the times 9 a.m. I believe is to start till about noon or 1-ish, depending on how things go. I'm excited. And on Tuesday is my next card class, the Summer and Cruising card class on Zoom. I'm not taking any more registrations for it. Uh, I will reveal what the projects are after the Zoom class, because I don't want to show you all yet, but they're quite nice. I'm looking forward to it. The theme is summer in cruising, cruising like driving. <laughs> During the month of August, I've been doing this for a couple of months now, is my bingo game. Free to play. Just send me your numbers, five numbers between 1 and 75 and entered. And I'll do a free bingo draw at the sometime early into next month, which isn't too far away when you think about it. And it's just I play the numbers through the bingo. I cross off what your numbers are, and whoever is the winner is the winner. Now I've got a couple loyalty programs here: the Stampin' Club and the Mini Stampin' Crew. So the club version is any orders in August over the fifty dollar value is entered into a draw, and this one lucky person will get a little prize from me. And the same applies for smaller orders that are under fifty. Now, if people are showing up to my craft booth this weekend to make a purchase. Their name can be entered into the draws as well, which I'm excited to have. Uh, September 10th is the next deadline for the Paper Pumpkin Kit Spooky Treats for Halloween themed. And if you're really into Halloween, the next month after is Christmas. 
So we're now we're getting into the nice seasonal kits here, which I think are really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the seasons will bring. So for September, it is treat boxes. And they're really, really cute when I do them every year for Halloween. And finally for September, sometime in September, when I get around to it, uh, I'll post the next date for my free social crafting on Zoom. I just haven't picked a date yet. It was on the other night. And then it just, things got kind of sideways. But I will pick a new date and get out there. I just figure, let me get through this weekend. It's my very first event. And then we'll move forward from there. I'm available for any sort of party hosting or unparty hosting. <laughs> uh, for if, if anyone's looking to make a purchase. Even if, hey, if you're like me, <laughs> you like to spend a lot. <laughs> All it takes is a $200 order to be able to get some rewards, so which is really nice. And then for my Thursday Hello Lives, uh, I need, I definitely need to update this little section of my slide here. I just, I haven't fully decided. I had a brainstorm yesterday, and I'm like, wait, don't do this yet. Um, for my Facebook group, the Playing with Papers and Colors Dash SU, I'm thinking of changing the name. I, I'm thinking about it. And the name I came up with, I'm like, I love the name, but I just recently did up a whole bunch of paperwork and stuff for this weekend with the existing name. So, I'm looking to make some changes in the next couple months for how the social media is, but I will get to it and it'll be all good. So this video is at the end when I'm completed tonight. It will be posted as a replay on YouTube on my YouTube channel, Color the Kitty. Feel free to search me and subscribe. I am looking for subscribers. I'm looking to take things to the next level for myself. And if you're on Facebook, hey, feel free to follow this group. Join, hang out, chat. Let me know what you think about arts and crafts so we can go from there. All right. So the paper pumpkin promo, which I'll be honest, is not, it's not a lot to work with here. But here's the hint. Spooky treats. The stamp there, we got ghostly stamp. And a color that um, is like a indigo-ish, if that's a hint. It looks like there's some st star embellishments, perhaps, as a little hint. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this kit shall be. Deadline to subscribe is the 10th, if you're interested. For hosting, uh, the quick note I can say about hosting is we are almost complete with celebration is if someone very eagerly puts in a group order of $375 or more, that's $375, I realize I blurred through the numbers there, there's a free stamp set available as part of Celebration. For joining, because uh, joining is anytime, 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 and actually my uh, Stampin' Up! team has challenged us to recruit someone new soon. <laughs> So I'll have to get on that and see if I can get a recruit. But an advantage to recruiting right now for the recruit is from now till the end of this month, August 31st, uh, as part of the join promo, there's a bonus item included in the package, which is the making plans collection, which includes a couple of neat things. It's got a, a daily planner with calendar sheets and everything, all the sheets for next from like from July until next year. It's got all the sheets. And dividers. It's even got like a divider ruler in there, which is nice. I like the planner. I have it here. I'm up in the air with myself on how I want to use it. But there's that. There's a stamp set that goes with it to help decorate the planner pages. And I've got that pulled out here to show on Saturday. Where it's got like note-taking things and other neat stuff. It's even got the Angel Policy Stampin' Up! logo on there as a stamp, which I really, really like. It also comes with notebooks. And if you know me, I really love notebooks. It's got three nice ones. And yeah, so that whole collection is free for joining this month. The retail value, because I actually purchased it as a pre-order, is like $60, $70, I think. So that's a really neat package that they have available. All right, so let's get crafting, crafting, crafting. All right, I'm, I'm a bit of a scattered mess here because I'm starting to slowly get stuff ready for the weekend for my event, which I'm excited. All right, so here's the Sweet Sunflowers kit, which has two colors of ink. We got Crushed Curry and Soft Suede. 
we've got my usual blocks, which I'll have to get some more actually sometime. And here's the kit. So this kit is now no longer available. Let me make that clear. The refills will come eventually in the, the past kit purchasing. However, I don't know the timeline. I saw an unconfirmed note somewhere that had a really long timeline for when this will be available again. So I don't want to say it. I don't want to scare people, but this was a really popular kit this month. So here's the uh, glue dots. Ah, here's my stamps, reusable stamps to go with the ink. Here's the card I made last week, which is really, really pretty. Because I decided I'm going to finish making them all tonight. That way I have them. Pretty card. It's got some dimensionals. And it came, this is a bonus item this month. Um, these um, gold foil honeycomb pieces, which I have not decided what to use them for. And of course, here's the mentioning of how to use them and to make that project potentially. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. All right. So then. Oh, wait. Here's the Christmas and the Halloween teaser here. <laughs> I'm excited for the Christmas one. All right. Here's our instructions. So last week, I made that one. We're going to make these two tonight. So we got double the bang for tonight. These envelopes are beautiful. Because I really want to get around doing something with them. But uh, that will be next week video. I will have to figure out what I'm doing with that beauty there. Okay. So let's pull out what materials I need. Once I figure out my instructions. So usually these kits... The instructions are full color, which is helpful. Here's the guide, here's the page where it kind of shows me everything I need. So let's have at it. Uh, I'll just put it. Da, 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 da. I'm all scattered. Okay, so I'm looking at both images. So I definitely need bumblebees, which are on here, for both sh cards. Okay. So we know we're going to need that anyway. We're going to need some tags. So there's the tags right there. Uh, it wants some vellum. Well, there's an extra bumblebee. Did you pop off from somewhere, my friend? Maybe? Hmm. There's a little bumblebee. Okay, we need, so I did, I have not grabbed the vellum. I got all distracted. <laughs> Alright, I need a card base. This is a really nice card base. And these are scored as well. The line is there, which is nice. I need one of those. I need not all of these. Uh, I need that card base, which is a beauty. I need one of these beauties. So this is cool too. Like 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 er these kits, everything comes pre-cut, ready to go, easy to use. Like that's part of the charm of these things. All right. So I've got what I needed. I'm just going to stack a bunch of this stuffs back in. Because I'm definitely going to need that for the weekend. Okay. And I'm going to put my kit off to the side. I got a bit of a different layout tonight, which is still chaotic. But Alright, so step one is the stamping. So I'm going to take my card bases and do those first. And I'm going to fold these. Uh, bone folder, where are you? Okay, there's that curd base, and then let me see the other one. Okay, so it is again a portrait-ish orientation. And then before I get way ahead of myself, I'm going to stamp the backs of these with the colored kitty stamp. I'm going to use the soft suede color. Oh, that was really inky. I went a little aggressive with that ink pad. Okay, there's one. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this weekend. I'm nervous, actually, for my event. It's my first event. It's all new to me. Alright. Well, not bad. Bit of a rough stamp there, but... Okay, I'm just going to clean that quickly. 
So I'm going to kind of sort of do both projects at once. I also need the angel policy, my original one, because that's my favorite. This is from, I think, oh, I forget what year this is. <laughs> A couple years ago, I picked this up. And it just, I just keep using it. So that's what's, that's what's great about these stamps is it's a bit of an investment to purchase, but they last a long time. Like this little guy, look how colored and well used it is. And I still keep using it. It still works awesomely every time. Depending on how good my skills are. That's the other factor sometimes is how well am I stamping today? That one turned out good. Just gonna give it a quick clean, which I did. Put it back in the thing. And then before I get way distracted, let's grab the little Stampin' Up name here. By me putting this name on my cards, I can sell these cards. So a nice feature of Stampin' Up. It encourages artistic talent. And then one more. All right, the backs are done, so I can put these off to the side and start stamping the other stuff we gotta do. I'm just gonna stick those away for the moment and hope I don't have a accidental moment of items all over here. Okay, where's my instructions? Okay, so first things first, let's look at the cards we're making. So here is the actual step-by-step -step instructions. So I'm going to jump through both of them. So for the green card base, it wants me to stamp for a one-of-a-kind friend on that tag. And then for the flowery one here, wishing you so much happiness on the other tag. And they're both in the suede color. Okay. I think we got it. So let's find my tags. Now my preference is I like to stamp them while they're still in here. So I'm just peeking at, okay. That, that, where's my stamps? Right here. All right, so let's peel the backing off. Let's do the for a one of a kind friend. Let's kind of put it on. It's kind of crooked, but that's okay. And then because the first time I'm using it, I'm going to season it. They go this way. When you buy dishes, what's the first thing you do? You wash it. You buy clothing, first thing you do, you wash it. It's the same kind of idea. It just makes it more effectively working. I find the ink sticks better after it's had a bit of a lived in feel. All right, there's a for a one of a kind friend. Really cool. And these are so reusable. Like, there's a really nice sunflower in the centerpiece and some flowery, greenery-ish ideas. Like, these stamps are awesome. Alright, let me make sure I got the right stamp. Wishing you so much happiness. And this first time using this one, too. Quick rub. How are you going to tell you got it changed? Is it, it kind of makes it dulled out. Like, it almost it's less clear. It seems to work that way. And sometimes it just doesn't work where the ink doesn't stick on very well, but that's okay. So the advantage I'm having this weekend at my event is for anyone who's new to stamping can actually do some stamping this weekend with me, which I'm offering at my event. Which I think it's one of the most beauty of things is be able to provide the experience of trying this out. Okay. So I got those. Let's bring back the instructions. Alright, so on the first one, so let's build the first one, then we'll build the second one. On the first one, it wants me to take that beautiful piece and glue it onto the card base. So let's bring back my card base. I'm going to just fold this a little better so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Alright, so bring that back. Bring that beautiful piece in. Let's make sure my directional is correct yes so i gotta glue that on and then it's even suggesting to me on the, the info here 
where to put the glue dots, which is actually is really useful. Um, to do that, the glue dots are a little pesky. I got a little pokey stick thing here. I'm just going to use them to put them on. Stampin' Up! has a better version of this. I just have not invested in one yet. It's on my wish list. A lot of things are on my wish list. Alright, so these white caps come off carefully. Yeah, just pull them off carefully. That way the adhesive, the little tiny pieces of double-sided round pieces of tape, as I call it. I will show you in a moment. Whoops. Alright. So when I hold it up, you can, now you can kind of see there's something in the every corner. That's the intention. Alright. So then this just gets glued on. Or taped on, however you want to call it. Nicely. There we go. And then next, it wants two bumblebees in a tag. Now we did have one little BB out in the table here. That must have got separated from the pack. Let's grab that little guy before he goes missing on me. And I'm just going to stick a little dimensional on the back of him. And let's grab another little BB. Because I've got quite a few here. Da, 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 da. Lots of pieces. There's a little BB. Fell onto the other one. That's kind of convenient. <laughs> Grab the dimensional. Put them on the back of that. After I unstick it from my finger. Alrighty. And then it wants the for a one of a kind friend tag here. The th nice with the die cuts is everything is ready to go. No real scissors really much needed unless you're dealing with thread. That's the only other thing. So I'm just putting two dimensionals on that. Nothing fancy. Okay. So then I am going to put the tag on. Take off these white caps. That way my adhesive dimensionals is nicely on there. And then put you more or less where they're suggesting on the image, the original concept. And then I got two little bumblebees. Making sure he's looking good. He or she. They. And then the last bumblebee is I'm going to put him. I want to put him in the corner down here. I just feel like that suits. Okay. So that card I think is done. So that's number two. That's really pretty. But look how easy that was. All it took was ink stands fine. I took a little time in the back, but and I can always put something on the inside too. But that's all it takes to do one beauty of a curd here. Okay, next one. Let's look at my instructions. We did the stamping. So it's suggesting once I grab this, take my honeycomb vellum here, pop one out carefully. They're a little sensitive. And then stick a couple glue dots on it and just stick it on, I guess, kind of there. Not some working towards here. Just going to pull off the table because it's going to be a bit of a pest here. And I'm going to carefully, hopefully, remove the cap without removing the glue dot. Now that is a challenge. Oh, I got one. And here comes the second. There's the second. Oh, my lighting is horrible tonight. Alright. So then what will happen is when I pick it up, there's like two pieces of tape on there. So I'm just gonna drop it on there somewhere. And then it wants a tag, a tag on a tag. So then we've got a tag here, let's pop it out. And then it's asking for one of these tags to go with it, which I'm working on. 
All right, so these, the one takes the glue dots while the other one is gonna take the dimensionals. So then just stick them on, peel off the white caps. And that's just gonna go on, yeah, like there, whatever, that works. And then that goes on with the dimensionals, and I, th and oh, then we got some bubble bees, duh. I gotta grab them in a moment, I'm getting all sidetracked here. I thought I was almost done, I'm like, no, I got some bumble bees. Alright, pull off the caps on those, and then... I just gotta bring it a little closer to me so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Try to center that. Try. Keyword. I think it's a little crooked. Is it? It's a little crooked, but that's okay. Alright. And then take some bees. It wants two, so it says. And again, use dimensionals for the little bees. And actually, even if someone gets really eager using their dimensionals and adhesives, we do sell more of these, actually. Just nice. Or if you have the bigger ones, you can cut them up into smaller ones. Or you can use the border that's not used. That's another neat way to make the supplies keep going. That way you don't have to worry about running out of supplies. We can get more. Alright, so then I'm gonna put my bees on here. Alright, I'm gonna put one down here. And then I want the other one. I'm gonna go over there. And there we go. That is the third project. That's it. That's actually a really easy kit. I didn't realize how easy it was. I think my first video, I spent like a really long time talking. <laughs> Versus tonight, I'm a little more focused. So there we go. There is, I'm just gonna move a couple things out of the way so I don't accidentally lose them on the table. So there is our three projects for the month. Ta-da! Very beautiful. Very nice. Like, I actually look at them. Now I see them now. Look at them now. They're, they're really basic. Like, they're basic, but they're beautiful. They're useful for so many occasions. Like a thank you, wishing you so much happiness for a one-of-a-kind friend. I like these cards for so many different things. So many different applications. Alright, so now that I have these ready for the weekend to show people at my crafting event. That way I can show what is Paper Pumpkin, what's inside Paper Pumpkin, and here's three beautiful projects done up. So that is going to be a lot of fun. I'm just going to put these away for the moment and show you what I've been up to. Okay, I had this a long time ago, this turtle picture. I kept working on it and working on it, and I finally finished it, like fully finished it. This is the final look. Uh, can I turn it this way? Is this going to fit? Yeah, there we go. Now it fits on the screen. <laughs> There's my final turtle picture. Uh, I know I got a bit of the glare coming from the uh, lamps, but it's okay. Hey, Debbie. So it's finally finished. It's really cute. Um, I had done a, a first round over the whole thing. And then I went back and recolored on top of it. And this round looks so much better. The colors pop. It stands out. This is beautiful. This is a color by number sheet. Uh, color Quest is the book. This is like my very first coloring book, I think. I think so. I have to check my notes, but I think so. That I bought when I went down this whole coloring path. And I still have a whole bunch of these left over. Because I haven't used them all. And then someone bought me a book again. So I got like another copy of all these. But there. There is my finished turtle. Sea turtle. Which is really cute. Alright. Now. I kept teasing this past week. A little bit about my coloring sheet. There's the hint. My own color to kitty coloring sheet. I'm going. I finished coloring this this week, my version, just to kind of show a representation, and also for me to see, does this work? And there is my custom 
coloring sheet for Color the Kitty that I'm handing out this weekend at my local event. However, if you're not local, that is okay. I am, we are looking into putting this available on my website for, as a free download. So if you want to color this yourselves, go ahead. I just use the same grouping of colors over and over is how I did this. And this was actually a lot of fun to make. And I love how this turned out actually. This is really, really cool. So there, there is the teasers for this week and all for what's coming up. So if you want a free copy of this, please let me know and I will get you a copy. All right. Well, that's it for this week. That's two videos that I've done up in one because I just thought for tonight do Color the Kitty as a combination of show what I've been up to and sh make the third card in the paper pumpkin kit. Any questions, please let me know. And I'll see this again. Please subscribe, follow, join, whichever. Show support here. I would really appreciate it because I'm looking to go on to bigger and better things and continue what I've been doing and grow into something bigger and bigger. <laughs> All right. Well, have a great night, everyone. If I don't see you this Saturday, we'll see you again sometime soon. Bye for now.